my favourite colour is banana. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all fine and well and having a lovely week. So today I'm back with a book of the month. I've read two books last month actually that I found quite interesting and I've done one review for one of them on my blog which you can have a little read and I'll leave it in the description below and the other one I'm going to be talking about today. I heard some really really terrific reviews about this novel that I was like looking into looking into looking at reading and I thought I would give it a crack and it just did not disappoint at all there were so many twists it was just so gripping I literally could not put this book down like at all it is another book that belongs to the fantasy genre which I did read last month I read Terry Pratchett's Colour of Magic um, but I really got into it because of that novel I think I just started to like enjoy the fantasy genre a little bit more uh, yet again and so this month's book of the month a must read is like the offspring of Divergent Hunger Games and then they had a little meeting with the X-Men and they just created this baby <laughs> and it is by Victoria Aveyard it is called The Red Queen and basically this book blah 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 let me just start that sentence again. This novel follows the story of Mayor Burrow. She lives in a society which is divided by red blood and silver blood. The red bloods are the more common servant people within the society, whereas the silver bloods have all of these special kind of powers. So we've got some that can control water, wind, fire, some that can even read your mind and manipulate and control you into doing things that you just wouldn't normally do. And basically, Mare, it belongs to the Red Blood family. And suddenly one day, she just manages to possess this deadly power. And she's one of the first known Reds to have this sort of power. And so she is then recruited as part of a uprising called the Scarlet Guard. And is hidden in plain sight in front of everybody, described as a lost silver princess and she basically has to destroy this silver blood family yeah. from the inside <laughs> so she's like a super agent almost now the thing that I love about this novel is the fact that it does have a lot of like different things going on so although it's got like a tiny love triangle within the novel it's not focused and driven on that story alone it's not like when we have Twilight and it's almost like all of the other stuff about like her having a child that's like half vampire and half human being sublimed it's actually more so about the main things the main issues and that's what I really like about it and the characters sort of interactions and the way it twists Victoria's written it in such a clever way that some of the characters that you absolutely love you actually end up kind of almost arguing with yourself because one minute you really really love them and you're like oh my gosh I love this person so much and then the next minute it just she completely twists it and you're just like oh! and it, it does introduce you and bring you into this world where you literally don't know who you can trust and even the main character and the protagonist themselves Mare, you're kind of questioning her character a little bit in some senses. You understand where her morals lie because she's red blood, she's been brought up in a red society and so she's all against the silvers are better and everything else and wants to be treated and have an equal world. However, she's kind of not feeling guilty about using others to get that power and get that into her advantage. And I'm really, really excited because it's part of a series. She has just released the new book. It is 10.99, it's called Glass Sword. And it does follow the story, which I think is really important because it does leave it on a, a very big cliffhanger and you're not sure. It's like the start of the uprising. So if I was to describe it, it would be like if you've seen the Hunger Games films and you watch part one of Mocking Jay. And it sort of leaves it on that same thing where you know there's going to be a war, you know there's going to be a battle and an uprising and it's going to be a big deal. There's already a war in this society and world which the Reds, if they are not put into a work kind of atmosphere, if they're not given an apprenticeship, then they are instantly segregated to this war when they come of age. So Mare's lost many 
brothers to this war so she doesn't feel that this is fair and in a similar sense yeah it runs on that same line so it just leaves it before there's like this build up of a war so her second novel is called Glass Sword and I'm really really eager to read it and see what happens to the characters and storyline because it has left it on such a good cliffhanger as I said before I give it a 5 out of 5 solid easy Victoria's written this really really well the storyline is brilliant the characters are amazing I love the fact that the love story triangle does not take over the whole plot and does not ruin it it just puts her in a rock and a hard place and it's just such a good read so do check it out it is 7 dollars I got it from Waterstones and the sequel is also in there too and the sequel is actually on buy one get one half price at the moment okay so thank you so much for watching guys I hope that you really enjoyed the novel as much as I did if you want any more novels or you want me to read any more books then please leave it in the comments below because I'm very happy to hear your suggestions all right if you really did enjoy it and want to read some more books with me please subscribe right, much love till next time bye